Good morning and grüezi YouTube. This is another FSD beta video. We are on version 10.69.2 and this is the version that is supposedly going out to um, the wide fleet of existing beta testers. The number of 100,000 has been around for a while. So um, yeah, hopefully um, all of you that had beta, um, the previous versions will get this one soon. We do a quick tour here, first impression, and I want to see a couple of um, areas where it used to be challenging in the past and see if you can see any changes. Like here, yeah, that's very nice. Okay, if I think it thought this mailbox here, I have to check this on the video later, but it looked like it um, interpreted that mailbox as a person. So let's have a look at that later in the video. But other than that, the left turn was okay. Creeping didn't feel like it would go out as far as it was in the past, but you know, that's very subjective. Now coming up to a first spot where um, there used to be issues in the past, because it kind of did it like in a two-step. So now also here we, we stop very early before the line, but actually not as bad. So Turn left onto Newtown Avenue. it might also be because of the navigation kind of telling the car it has to turn right and then left, which is actually wrong. Um, it's just one of these things that the car was struggling in the past and now we're pretty much in one of the lanes and now it gives it quite of a boost. Okay, yeah, that creep was too far out. Um, it was stopping almost in the middle of the road, I would say. So it should have committed earlier there. So this still seems to be kind of an issue that the car is creeping out quite far. And um, honestly, um, I'm not sure if that's ever gonna change because the car has to make sure um, it can see with whatever camera is best um, positioned for a given situation. And <clears throat> that probably means that there are situations, especially with obstructions, um, where the car has to try to get into a, a position where it can see. Now here we're coming up to parked cars. Okay, the car realizes it and lets the uh, car to the left in my left lane pass and goes around them. That was um, okay. The maneuver was a little bit jerky, but um, overall very good. It realized it had to go around them and it did that just fine. Now we're coming up to a intersection where the car used to struggle in the past. Let's see. It's very confusing. It goes in with confidence and now it breaks hard. So I have to push the accelerator and now it kind of switches into the right lane, okay. Um, yeah, that was not really good, I would say. There, the car was seemingly confused, um, really braked hard in the middle of the intersection, which is what it did in the past as well. <clears throat> so, these type of, um, yeah, horse road or, or former horse road um, layouts with uh, confusing merges and um, lane connections, they seem to be um, a problem still for the car to understand. Again, I mentioned this in my previous video as well. Um, for those of you who will be coming from um, a previous version, not the .69 um, branch, I think that's something you will notice. Um, and, and you will notice, I would say, a lot of improvements, right? But this is uh, one of the small things, but I find that really um, good, is that the car now reacts pretty quickly to um, cars in front of it. 
in terms of um, when a, a car in front of us goes, um, my car reacts pretty quickly and it doesn't do it in a jerky way. Okay, next thing, um, highway on-ramp. Modulates the speed very well. Now we speed up and we change lanes onto the highway. Okay, there was actually a car behind and uh, it f definitely felt like my car was observing, quote unquote, that other car um, uh, to see what it was doing. And um, as soon as it kind of got the hang of that other car not speeding up or being in our way, it was speeding up and then merged onto the highway. So again, as mentioned in the previous video, um, the, to me it feels like the highway on-ramp merge has improved quite a bit with the uh, .69 version. Not necessarily this latest um, 69.2 that has already been there in previous versions, but again, for all of those um, of you who come from a, a, a prior version to the 69 branch, I think this is also something you will hopefully notice and appreciate. got to wait for the traffic to the left first and now this car is turning in front of us so we have to go to the next stop and then we have to turn left here so let's see there's cars coming from the other side and now my car decides to go okay now we got to do a quick change to the right otherwise we're gonna miss that let's see yeah okay <laughs> Again, it's using um, that uh, divider section and it's still doing here is slow down. I don't know why. <clears throat> I haven't figured out why it thinks it has to slow down here. Maybe on the video you guys um, see something and let me know in the comments. I haven't figured out why it's constant in this spot, why it, it's slowing down. Um, so yeah, another intervention with the, or let's say, uh, yeah, intervention with the um, accelerator. Protected left here, no problem. Now turn right to stay on Old Kings Highway North. Here, a pretty tight right turn, no problem as well either. As, uh, either. So this is uh, like a 120 degree or so turn, um, no problem at all. Very smooth. Your destination will be on the right. to do a right turn here there's a car coming from the left the car is waiting and as soon as that car has passed it actually goes so this also this is not new in dot two um, we've seen this behavior in um, 69 dot one versions as well but it if anything, it feels maybe a little bit smoother again, which um, is overall the impression of these 69 releases. Turns and, and uh, behavior at stops, etc., feel much smoother. Another highway on ramp, okay. <clears throat> and perfect again. So it was looking for the spot, um, didn't try to get ahead of that blue master in front of me here, but um, kind of went behind it and um, did the merge. So again, very happy with the uh, improved merge behavior. Wow, that was actually interesting. <clears throat> so this was a turn on red. 
and um, the car didn't even stop. And I believe that was, I have to check on the video again later, but I believe that was intentional because you could actually see that there were no cars coming um, from the left um, because the, um, the intersection is quite uh, easy to see to the left. And um, it basically decided to just roll that one. So that was interesting. Unprotected left turn here, no hesitation at all. Um, I'm sure it was seeing this other van there coming, and, but determined that um, it was still enough time for us to turn. So that was great. Here, this next stop, we had an issue in the initial um, 69 version where the car wouldn't stop for a, a car coming from the left. So let's see here, the creep ball is pretty far out and um, we decide to go, okay. Now, let's see here, a car parked to the right. My car slows down and then goes around it. Very good, so that was a pedestrian or another driver getting into um, his car and uh, that was working just fine. We slowed down a little bit and just went around it. Okay, now coming up, <clears throat> um, a couple of lane selection, selections the car has to make, and if you saw my previous video, 69.1.1 um, was actually the first version that managed all four of them. And uh, here is the first one, let's see, we have to take the left, I'm uh, sorry, the right lane, and perfect, we just go into the right lane, and go through the light, that was good. One out of four. Next one coming up, number two. And immediately, okay, immediately going into the right lane to go straight. So that's two out of four. Now I have to quickly change navigation. And we can see here, it directly goes into the right lane. Oh, changed its mind, okay. <laughs> All right, so it had like an afterthought there. It um, went into the right lane first, then somehow decided nope, and um, changed its mind again and went into the right lane here, which is correct. And it has to go right here. And again, a little bit of, of, of hesitation. So it saw or indicated the right lane first, and um, kind of hesitated and um, to almost like thought again about it. So I don't know, let's call this maybe three and a half out of four or three, uh, three quarters out of four. Um, I mean, no, I, you know, it, it made it again all four, but um, you know, if there were a lot of cars, I don't know, this hesitation might have been a little bit of an issue. <clears throat> okay. All right, and uh, now we're almost at the end um, of, these, uh, of these loops. So I would say initial impression 10.69.2, um, not a lot that um, I could tell which was different uh, from the 10.69.1.1. Um, I think it's really gonna be interesting to see how um, the reaction of um, a lot more people will be that didn't have any of the .69 branches yet. And um, I, I think overall people are going to like it, and I'm very happy that this th seems to be rolling out now to a lot more people. Um, <clears throat> it's really a lot smoother, the stop logic um, with the creep wall has been improved. <clears throat> overall turns are much smoother on these 69 versions. And that still holds true, true for 2.2. Uh, two. And yeah, I'm just very excited for a lot of other people uh, getting this. Um, with that, um, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope um, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.